guys, what's up? My name's Hope. I'm a nurse, reseller, breast cancer warrior. I'm all the things, I save all the things. I have no idea what my intro is anymore. Yeah, but I have a haul. A Goodwill haul I went yesterday. I actually have like three other bins hauls that I haven't filmed yet because I'm trying to like break them up into piles because it, otherwise it'd be like a two hour movie. So I, um, yeah, I just haven't done those yet, but I have them all in piles. And I'm trying to figure out, this is my duffer. Want to see a duffer? This is my cancer kitten. We got him right when I got diagnosed with cancer. He's my all black teddy. He's my all black little teddy top. Do you want mama? Do you want mama? We love each other so much. He's my little, literal baby. Tell him, duffer. He is so handsome. Yeah, he told you. He told you how handsome he was. Anyways, um, that's my dipper do. He's my little dipper. And someday he's gonna be a big dipper. Aren't you dipper? <laughs> he's so precious. He's the best cat. I don't know, there's something about black cats. I don't know, we've never had a cat before, but as soon as he <sighs> came into my life, I laugh. I laugh because hold on one second and then we're gonna get into the haul. It's not that, it's like two and a half bags full. I spent like $140. Hold on, you have to see the dog. You have to see Dave. Dave, can you say hi? Dave. Are you, can you say hi to the camera? Right here. Look, look right there at the camera. Dave, look at the camera. I know, give me your paw. Can you shake? I know you can't, you're so smart. Why is he this so cute? Look, he's like a cutie. He's literally a cinnamon snickerdoodle. Okay. Anyways, hi. <laughs> so I have like three more hauls coming. They're all Ben's hauls. I am trying to like, I have two weeks left until I'm my surgery. It's the January 4th will be my reconstruction. If you're new here, hi, I have breast cancer. I had a mastectomy. I'm gonna have reconstruction on the 4th of January. I'm 37 and I'm a nurse and a reseller. But right now I'm doing reselling part-time, trying to make a living so that I, I can stay home and heal for the next three months. So my content is gonna change as soon as I have my surgery. We're gonna set up my office upstairs my parents moved out. I haven't told you guys any of this stuff. If you're new, you wouldn't know, but my my friends that have been here for a while know my parents lived with us and they had our master bedroom. They moved out like so I could be comfortable and have my master bedroom, my bath and all that. They, ha they got their own apartment with my brother. So now I have an office. I'm using the other, the room we, me and my husband were staying in. We're back in our master and now I'm using my office or our the bedroom we were using as my office and we're gonna set that all up so I can film on the same level upstairs once I've had my reconstruction surgery I'll be off like out of commission like dinosaur arms for like six weeks but I can I'm gonna definitely do like what I'm selling videos like what sold um, George my husband's gonna help me with shipping and I'm gonna try to keep it moving because I can list from bed so like my ultimate goal is to have like 300 items photographed before January 4th. And I've been working on it. I'm like hardcore working on it, but like it's messing me up. I haven't been listing like I was listing. I was doing 10 items a day and I was having such good sales. But like I, I'm like, I've been saving all my photos because I'm like, I'm gonna be off for six weeks. So yeah. So I haven't been selling like a crazy ton amount like the past two weeks because I've been like stockpiling all my photos. But I was like, I'm gonna go check out the Goodwill. I haven't been to the one by my house in forever. I always go to other ones instead. So I was, someone said, I hope your next video is in front of your tree. And I was like, absolutely. I'll do that just for you. So shout out to you. I can't remember your name because I have cancer brain. But here we are and it's a really good haul. I spent... It was like 180, but I bought my kid Adidas shoes. Those were 10. I bought them a game that was five. 
and I bought a couple other things. So like the reselling stuff, it was 140-ish, 140, 145. So I didn't get that many items, but we'll start with the shoes. There's only a few pair. These are Steve Madden, square toe, size seven. Steve Madden, little like lace up the ankle. They're called the, the uplift, the Steve Madden uplift. These are like a really modern shoe. They're brand new. They've never been worn, not a single time in their whole life. So absolutely, I got those. Then, and I only, like the whole time, I was, it was like a mad dash. It was like a mad dash. Um, when I got there, I really went to the thrift store to like look for like basics for myself. Cause I'm trying to like dress, uh, like, I don't know. I think I'm, I'm trying to like thrift a minimalist wardrobe with just like tons of, not tons, but like basics and staples. And so I really went for myself. And then I like started, I don't know why I started in the small section, but I did, I'm not a small, Lord knows I was. <laughs> and then the hysterectomy, instant menopause, and boom, I'm chubby all over again, but it's okay, it's okay. I'm alive, I'm alive. Uh, so I went thinking about thrifting for myself and I, I don't know why, I started looking in the smalls and I stayed in the small section for the whole row. And then I went to the shoes and uh, like the skirts. That was it. I don't even know why I went to the skirts, but I did. But I found so much in the smalls that I was like, okay. So, all right, these are BCBG Max Azria. I'm not like obsessed with that brand, but I did just sell a dress from them for like a hundred something dollars. But these are square toe, cut out, and like the heel is like a hexagon. See how it's like a hexagon? And they're like patent leather ankle shooties, heels. I don't know the name. Oh, uh, they're size. Dear God, I can't see that either. Oh my God, I'm blind. It's dark in this living room because it's so cozy. <laughs> it's like a cozy little Christmas cottage in here. The same one I do every year. I honestly, you guys cannot see his eyes. I'm so sorry. Oh wait, hold on. Dear Lord, I need, I need glasses. No, it just says all leather. So these are leather. I, I don't know the size. I'm so sorry. Maybe they'll be listed by the time this video goes up, but I doubt it. I'm working on like, I'm like backlogged with my listings. Then I found these Tory Burch. I seen these from across, like when I was in the small section, I seen these in the shoe section on top. Like they fade, like the shoes were, they were facing me like this. And I could see it, I wasn't that far away from it. And I was certain they'd be marked up considering they'd been marking up like, you know, Nike, Carhartt, Pink. <laughs> like the dumbest crap, <laughs> I'm like, literally. A Lululemon tank was ten dollars. I was like, these people are crazy. But then, like, I find Tory Burch for seven ninety nine. Okay, so these are so cute. These are. I was gonna film while I was in there too because it was dead. But I can't remember what these are called. But they're um, like a size ten, I think. Yeah, a ten, a ten B Tory Burch espadrille wedge. I was gonna film because like the pricing was literally crazy, but then like after two seconds of being on the through the aisle, it was not crazy. It was just like the new racks that were coming out, the pricing was absurd. And I like giggled to myself. But it's fine. These also altered state. I got these espadrilles. This is like suede, these big chunky buckles. I love altered state. It's really hard for me to say no. And I think for these, yeah, these are an eight. So I wear a seven and a half, eight, just depends. So these might be for me, but either way, I thought I'll for sure be able to get 28, 35 for these. So it's a good buy. I do good with altered state. I do good with a lot of mall brands that other people don't necessarily always pick up, but someone's gotta sell the bread and butter, right? All right, these are women's nine in navy. These are all birds. These are my favorite shoes ever. I have these in gray. These are the wool runners. 
They're navy, they're in immaculate condition. Like the gray is perfect. The only thing that's wrong is there's a little bit of dirt on the bottom, but they're fabulous. And they're navy, oh, I love all birds. So I think that's it for shoes. Look at Dip. Dipper, they cannot see you with a baby. They can't see you with a new little paws. Okay, then I got a few scarves. Nothing crazy, but like I love scarves. Look at this one. So pretty. I seen it on the, in the scarf section and I was like, oh, that's probably a good one. And scarves are only 99 cents. It's, it's Steve Madden, but like, it's like, oh, Dipper's. Oh no, Dip, don't do that. He's trying to eat your stuff. This is like one of those one scarves that's like, hi, it's winter, you know? Oh, the tree. Buster, go lay down. No, now my blind dog is trying to get in. So this is a giant scarf. It's like half wool, half acrylic. I don't know, it's Steve Madden. Really cute, 99 cents. I'm not leaving that. Any day of the week, I'm not leaving that. Let me see what the fabric is. Uh, no, it's a, it's all acrylic, so I'm a big fat liar. I think last time in my video I said I'm a habitual liar. Some of you thought that was funny. <laughs> I say that all the time to everyone. I'm like, you're a habitual liar. Okay, these are my favorite, and if I could get my butt in these, I swear I would keep these, even for a minimalist wardrobe that I'm trying to build. These are vintage Talbots, size 10, way, way, way high rise, like, whoa. Definitely like a 12, probably 13 inch rise. And they're like tapered leg, kind of wide leg tapered and houndstooth white, red, and black. Oh my gosh, they're lined, they're 100% wool. They're fabulous. And like they put their pants at like $3.99, so of course. But if it's new a tag, they mark it up to $10 automatically. <laughs> Not everything, but like the, some of the stuff they do, I'm like, oh my God, are you kidding? <laughs> like, are you literally kidding me right now? But it is what it is. Then I was so excited to find this because my one of my bestest friends in the whole wide world <laughs> lives in Boston. Her name's Lori Tata, you guys know. But look at this, Boss Fun Sportswear. Made in the USA, size medium. Like, look at this old tag, and look. It is a Boston embroidered zip-up fleece. It's vintage. Isn't that cute? Like, when I get off the airplane, hi. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So, I'm gonna probably list it. Um, but, I thought of Lori whenever I found it, so. Okay, I, well, the only reason I got this was because I thought it was adorable and the tag intrigued me. And then I looked at the fabric tag and it was merino wool and cotton and I was like, hmm. And the tag is this, so pay attention. See that star? And it says BR slash HTG SF78. So it's Banana Republic Heritage Collection. That means they brought back like some of their best selling styles and made like a heritage vault collection. The comps on this is like $60 for this cable knit sweater. I didn't know that when I bought it. I bought all of this without checking any comps. <laughs> so basically I spent $140 on stuff that I just had faith in. So. This is J. Crew. Uh, it's the Teddy and it's leopard print. So that was a guarantee that I was gonna buy this leopard print sweater. And it's size small, it's in perfect condition. Then I found this Free People. Oh, I love this. I can't, I don't know what this is called. It is size, everything size small, I think. This is extra small, but it's giant. Okay, this is, it's hot pink. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because of the lighting. It's got, it's super wide and boxy and super chunky. Dolman sleeve, turtleneck. It's like magenta pink. Boxy, chunky sweater. 
extra small but literally like definitely a medium fit at least this one is just moth oh i thought it was just by anthropology so this is moth by anthropology so that means oh come on camera don't be dumb it's not gonna pick it up it only cares about my face i don't think i have my right tracking on nope sorry no tags today friends <laughs> this is moth by anthropology it's like this mustard it looks really yellow but it's not it's like mustardy balloon sleeve cuffed little off like boat neck cropped sweater anthropology and i found this armani exchange like all, literally all this was in the size small row I didn't even make it past, I was literally not there that long. Armani Exchange, size small, AX is Armani Exchange. I'm not like obsessed with Armani Exchange. Not that I don't think it's good, it's Armani, but, but I'm not like, oh my god, I found Armani. It doesn't do that good. Like, but this was 50 acrylic, 50 wool. And it was like, it's like a staple card again. It's gray. And I almost wonder, no, you can't. I was wondering if you could flip it on the outside. It was like a little boyfriend cardigan. Gray, light gray with these cute buttons. Deep V and it's got like a solid gray back. It's really cute, size small. This is a vintage scarf from Victor Mathieu Paris. Comps on this are like 20 bucks. Oh my gosh, I'm so mad. I am so sorry, you guys, that it's not picking up the names. It's because I didn't turn on my tracking. It's my fault. Anyways, this is wool and acrylic, and it's like, you could just tell it's vintage, the colors, the, the print. So this is a scarf, 99 cents. All day long, I'll buy that. This is Gymshark. They had this right next to, the, uh, to an Athleta shirt for $9.99 and then a Lululemon take for $9.99 and they had this at $4.99. And then I get 10% off. Just a Gymshark crop long sleeve. That's the logo. And that's a, I think a small? So has the tag. Yeah, small. I think these are gonna be for me. These are PacSun. I don't buy PacSun jeans for seven dollars at the thrift store but these were a 29 and they're the mom jean and they're high rise straight leg and i'm looking for like a staple jean for my wardrobe so i bought these and they're like a zip high rise if they don't fit then i'll sell them not for a lot like probably 25 bucks but the idea was those are for me okay this is free people Anytime I find a waffle knit for people, I pick it up. I mean, because my they don't, they only price them at four or five dollars. So let's with the free. It's a nude color. It's a waffle knit. It's way oversized. It's like new condition. And then same price as the free people is this Target. <laughs> it's a new day, but it's brand new with tag, and I'll pay four dollars for a brand new tag. Especially like this, it's a ribbed basic, like a ribbed brown cardigan. New with tag, size extra small, retails 25, I'll literally list it for 25. It will sell, I promise. Um, this one is by Anthropology. That's all. That's the label. It's literally by Anthropology, and it's size. It's got to be smaller. It's just small. Small. And it says green, like kind of a scoop neck, crop, dolman sleeve, little raglan sweater knit. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's anthropology, so I got it. This is Ann Taylor. I do so well with Ann Taylor. And then part of me was like, it's Ann Taylor. 
black label a size 10 this looks brand new i don't think it's been worn let me see what year i do so well with ann taylor it's crazy yeah 2020 and then part of me was like maybe this can fit into your um your minimalist wardrobe hope so i might keep this i don't know like it all just depends how i feel like i haven't got my reconstruction yet but like this is so neutral that it would go with so many things it's like three four sleeves little blazer and it's just a plaid but like it's cream and with mustard i don't know she might stay here with me otherwise i don't know is it lin it might be linen it's so like brand new and i love and selling ann taylor <laughs> That might be weird, but I love it. It's rayon and poly. So and then I found this J. Crew, and I thought the same thing. Like, mm, should you keep this for your minimalist wardrobe? <laughs> and then I'm like, how is this a minimalist wardrobe if you're keeping everything? <laughs> but I couldn't resist. It's a small. Like that blazer is size 10. They put the blazers right next to the smalls, so I like hit it all at the same time. But I knew this was way oversized when I seen it. This little J. Crew piece, oh, it's a jacket. I don't know, you guys. I might keep it too. <laughs> it's, it's um like a chambray, a little blazer jacket. I love it. It's totally brand new. I think comps were like 30, 40 bucks. I paid $4.99. This it's got the cursive label. It's so adorable. It's a small, but it's definitely oversized because I'm definitely like medium large. Okay, right, this is a cashmere feel. 99 cent scarf. It feels just like cashmere. But I don't think it is. Because it just has a British tag here. And it says cashmere feel, Scotland design, dry cleaner hand wash. But it doesn't give you the fabric. It's like this powder blue. Oh, it's beautiful. It's the most luxurious scarf I've ever touched. So we got that. 99 cents. Like, I can't say no. And then I got this, made well, size small. I got it. It's 100% linen. Sometimes these, like, specialty graphic do well this is new york size small 100 percent linen it's the new york blue slub knit 100 linen t i mean it's long sleeve i don't know i debated and i grabbed it anyways it's four dollars okay i think we're moving on well no we're not we're almost moving on to another section I found all this in the first row. This is why like, I'm like, I should go back tomorrow and do mediums and larges. This is made well, extra small, a cocoon, gray, knit, open cardigan. No, I'm, I would never say no to that, ever. <laughs> this is wild fox, size small. It's definitely oversized, has drops, drop shoulders. And, and does this weird stuff in the front. I haven't looked up the style, but this is definitely oversized. Then there's one, I think one more sweater. Nope, there's a couple more. We're almost at the bottoms. I only got a few bottoms. Got this junk food, ACDC junk food. What size is this? Oh, jeez, a small. ACDC junk food long sleeve. Super cute really good condition my kid conned me out of this and i am so mad because i really think this would do so well this is american eagle the ah, amazingly soft <laughs> jagging fit uh crew neck it's gray with cream sleeves perfect condition like it's like tunic length it's slouchy it's got the drop sleeves. It's that oh, amazingly soft inside. It's so cozy. And she's like, Mom, please. And I'm like, oh. She goes, it matches the Adidas shoes. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And she takes everything. 
my youngest. She takes all the good stuff from my hauls. Okay, then I found this, and I've been to Cayman, Grand Cayman Islands, but this was new with tags by Exist. And I'm like, if we go there again, <laughs> um, it's brand new, tie-dye, and it says, Cayman Islands Stay Salty by the brand Exist. And then Cayman Islands Stay Salty on the back, and it's brand new with tag, and $40, so... When we ever go on a cruise again someday, one of my kids, Braylon can wear that, or I'm gonna list it for someone going, the Cayman Islands are beautiful. Expensive there, but beautiful. We only visit during on a cruise. We don't just go there. Okay, this is a Zaya Active. It's that like MLM popular brand. It's, the, it's a hot pink fuchsia boyfriend sweater, Zaya Active, size small. It's spray no tag. That's why I got it, it was because it was brand new. Um, is that it for tops? Nope, we're not done. Two more, two more tops, and then we, this haul is almost over. This is new with tag. I got it just because it was cute. Black, it's a basic. It's a black crop shell, super soft sweater with this like lace up back by Dreamers debut. I don't know if that's Nordstrom or I think maybe Urban Outfitters. I'm not sure, but it's brand new. Size small. Has a, It's a $40 retail, so even at $25, that's perfect. Is my battery dead? I know. Okay. Um, yeah. So even if I only get $25, $28 for that, I'm not mad. This is uh, Anthropology. Yeah, this is just by Anthropology. That's the label, by Anthropology. So it's definitely newer. It's like a salmon-y, salmon-y pinkish with buttons, mop neck oversized sweater. Can you believe like all this was in the front row? Like I, it has the button. This is Dipper. Viscose, poly, nylon. I can't believe there's not wool in here or alpaca. Super soft. Dipper has Christmas tree trimmings all over. And this matches this perfectly. Like, see? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's like a whole winter, winter vibe right there. Okay, and then we found this vintage Pendleton. I was like, where is the tag? This is definitely like new with tag. There's no tag though. It's not new with tag. But it, this has never been worn. Vintage Pendleton. Oh my gosh, this stupid camera. I've got to fix the focus. Vintage size six Pendleton 100% wool midi skirt in cream. And has the one button and the, oh my God, and the pockets, you know? It's it, this is it right here. This skirt is fabulous. I love it so much. And then I found this new tag. I don't really even buy skirts, but for some reason I walked down that aisle. New Newberry Custom. Oh my God, I literally, I promise I'll fix this for next time. Newberry Custom, K Custom is spelled with a K. Designed in Los Angeles, size like small. It's like a little mustard mini skirt. I found the stock photo for this. It's really cute, actually. And last but not least are these Urban Outfitters little sunflower high rise, high rise sunflower pocket shorts with this big bow. I love sunflowers. So these go up high, they tie. Super cute. I do good with Urban Outfitters, American Eagle, all those fun things. Anyways, that is it. I spent $140, got all that stuff. Yeah, I'm super happy with it. It was just like a quick trip in, and I got Braille and those Adidas. They're over there, but I'm not gonna get, grab them. Um, my Ben's hauls are really good. They're coming. I just have to like divide them into like 
four hauls. Otherwise, they're going to be like two hours long a piece. And I mean, unless you're here for it. Also, uh, if you're still here, my Instagram, it got hacked. So I can't advertise when I'm going to have videos coming out. So please subscribe and uh, you'll see when my, and hit the bell and you'll see when my videos come out. I'm going to try to do one a week up until my surgery. And then once my surgery comes, after about a week of recovery, I'm just going to do what sold videos or like what I'm selling videos. Uh, or, um, because I plan on having so many pictures that I could be still be listing from my bed. So that's the plan. I will see you next week, Christmas week, with another haul video. It'll be a Vince haul. Bye. Love you guys.